Well, so let's go on uh, topic, uh, th- the third topic of the week. Um, you know, last last week we did our basically our wrap-up of uh, the best games of 2016. I thought we'd jump out and do the best, uh, our most anticipated games Matches. of, yeah, of 2017. So, yep. uh, you know, we're a few days in here at this point. Just real quick, uh, let's, let's run through this list. Okay. And then I think each of us should try and pick a uh, number one. Okay. For sure. Let me uh, let me get this rolling. Days, quick. days gone. So yeah, the first one was days gone. You, did you watch a trailer or something today? You were texting me about how it looks sweet. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, I had apparently somehow I missed it. Like, right? and I was I watched the uh, the reveal trailer or whatever, and it was talking about the things he regrets most or whatever right. and the, the thing he regrets most is the girl's hair in his face or whatever and like and that was stupid <laughs> and, right. uh, and then i watched the gameplay trailer and there was literally like a thousand fucking zombies right. coming after him fast at full zombies. speed yeah. yeah fast zombies and not like not like left for dead like where it's just like crazy zombies just like a an entire fucking horde of awesome looking zombies just like right. where he's blasting them and then fucking running and he looks back and there's like hundreds of them after them and he throws fucking mine on the logs and tries to knock them off he knocks out about maybe 20 of them and then there's still 200 right. coming after him like i mean it's and and smooth it looked awesome like, yeah it looks like a, a good mix between running and then turning around and like trying to throw something in their way and then running yeah. sort of thing and then turn yeah. around and trying to mow a few down and stuff. Yeah, it looks sweet. Totally. I mean, that's that's the advancement of video games at this point, like, and of, or of what our consoles can do at this point. Sure. It's, it's awesome. Yep. I mean, like, seeing that, like, like that train car when they were all speeding out of that train car it's like holy shit right like, it's like hundreds it's so cool like I, I almost feel like that's going to be my number one yeah uh, yep. so I mean, it, so it look, uh, looks let's, awesome. we, we got just a few minutes so let's blast through them all right for honor did you watch the video for for honor Brenner, I watched a lot of I watched about five minutes of gameplay through a few different characters and uh not too hard about it. Really? Kind of key. I just like the way, I just, to me, it just, it, the, it rings Bushido Blade. And nobody's done Bush, Bushido Blade good since Bushido Blade. But that way, w- once they, once you find, like, another real person, those fights that you have where it's clear that the swords are, like, coming, and then you got to block that way and whatnot, totally, uh, totally has me stoked for that, even if the rest of it looks kind of ridiculous. I guess, I don't know. It just seemed kind of clunky, the whole fighting. and I don't know. I'm not too hyped for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm hyped for it. Hyped. Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Ghost Recon Wildlands. I feel like I'd, I'd rather play Metal Gear Solid Five. <sighs> See, I don't. I, I feel like if it's from Ubisoft, and it looks like it's basically using the Division engine, only doing these super varied missions with a posse instead of just the division missions where you're trying to kill an enemy, strafe, you know, in, in yeah. you know, in uh, not strafe, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, where you go to the side when your other people are shooting them from the front. It's a military tactic. Flank. Herb. Flanking. Flank. Yeah, the vision Flank. is just like flanking forever, sort of thing. Like it looks like Ghost Recon Wildlands is way more varied the way that you go. Yeah, about they did. They, they did objectives. two. They did two walkthrough videos. One was at E3. They showed of them completing a mission, and then like a few months, two couple months later, they came out and they did the same mission. Right, <laughs> but in, in a completely different way. Like, right, that's cool. Yeah, I, I like that. I feel but, like for Sunday nights it'll be awesome. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, God of War. God of War looks dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I think it looks good. I I feel like God of War isn't really my thing up until now. This one looks to be better than the ones of the past. So I'm hope I have high hopes for it. Kratos or whatever. It just you know all he wants to do is yell. 
sure. and run and scream and you know it, it, it there's great moments in all those games but uh in general his character is so lame to me you know what i mean yeah not too i forgot to worry and like good games but. yeah yeah and like like i said to adam i i put my money down and that kid dies and then he gets mad Probably. You could tell in that demo that he's trying to hold back his anger when things are happening yeah. and stuff. I think the whole game's going to be that, and then at some point that kid dies, and he's not going to hold back yeah. anymore. Yep, yeah, he's going to unleash his fury. That's my pred- prediction. Uh, uh, yeah. Hot shots. Hot shots. Um, Me and you were I'm talking when you were to, here. I'm down to destroy Adam and some hot shots. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. Take them out. And uh, the the other thing is that uh, we, we were talking when you were here, ridiculous that there's not good golf on the PS4. Yeah, so that's true. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, it's failing. Yeah. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn? That's the number one, I feel like, obviously. <clears throat> yeah, obviously. Robot, dinosaur, cavewoman, post- Apocalypse. That game looks the dopest from yeah. all the trailers we've seen. Yep, I agree. Uh, I agree. Cool. Um, Legend of Zelda. A toss up, actually, between that and Horizon. Um, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, um, it, it's gonna be awesome for sure. It looks looks super awesome. Looks yeah, like a, the most recent. I mean, you know, Nintendo makes awesome games, and yeah, you know, and, Zelda's awesome. Yeah, the the most recent uh, trailer that I watched was a open world combat trailer. Man, it looked sick. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. all, just the, all the different ways the link was taking out moblins and whatnot was so so awesome. Yeah. Uh, Persona Five. Persona Five. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna play through it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Get some high school hotties. Yep. All uh, the so this next one, this I got this list from IGN. I don't believe that this next one is going to make it, but it's on their list, so they must it must have a release date. It says 2017, and now that I think about it, I think that they did say 2017 on the trailer. Um, but yeah, Red Dead Redemption. I feel like that I mean, could be number if one. That, <laughs> if that's coming out next, I feel like that's not coming out next year, but. But yeah, if it is, that's we got a lot of good games. I know, I know. It's gonna be an awesome year. I got to get my that's, stuff in order now, that's so I'm ready one. for it. I'm gonna say it again. This third time I've said it through the list. That's <laughs> number one. Uh, so two. Red more. Dead Redemption. I I liked it better than any of the GTAs. Yeah, and for sure. And <sighs> it's still it's crazy to me that since Red Dead Redemption came out that we haven't had more Western games. Right. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah. That, it's, the, the Old West is perfect for video games. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Totally. Yep. So, yeah, crazy. Whatever. Yep, crazy. Uh, and if, then if finally, they're the only ones that make it, then that's fine because they're, they've made some... Red Dead Redemption was awesome. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, so the I got two more. Uh, Resident Evil 7. Um, you played the demo yet? You did, right? Yeah, I played the demo. Yeah, so Resident Evil 7 looks sweet, too. Um, yeah. You know, I, I can't imagine playing that thing in VR. And then uh, the final one is uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. What about Spider-Man? That could be number one, too! It totally could be. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely will be if it's, like, a good game. Oh, my God. Right. There's, I mean... And it looks like it's going to be good. Yeah, it looks, looks like awesome. It's going to be awesome. The one thing that me and you have never really discussed here is that on on, this, on our show is that um you know clear that his suit that he's wearing is not the movie suit. It's not a current comic suit, and so it's cool that they're you know they're they're showing that it's their own thing. You know, kind of like um I feel like what. DC and Telltale did with Batman recently, where you know they gave Telltale full license to do whatever they want with Batman. Um, you know, I, I hope that Spider-Man is the same deal. You know, the, the recent Spider-Man games oh. were all Activision had some deal with Spider-Man, where it was just pump out these games once a year that were subpar and tried to tie in with movies or comic yeah. things and whatnot. Now that deal's done, and you know, giving it to uh, the the company that made uh, Infamous. 
What's that? Not Ratchet Activision. And Clank. Activision's out. It's the it's the I forget what they're called. Sony Bend. I think no, it's not Bend. Uh, 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 anyways, the, the guys who made uh, what's the superhero game? The one of the first games that we got uh, on the PS4. What the infamous one? Is it infamous? No, infamous is superhero game. It's something else that starts with in. I feel like Insomniac. No, no yeah. Insomniac made Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> the game where you're the dude, the trendy hipster dude in in Seattle, and you get superpowers as the game goes along. The one's the neon, and the other one is uh, is cement. Yeah, yeah. Um, that game. <laughs> <laughs> so what the fuck is the name of the game? So that was our list. The uh, I just wanted to real quick. Um, Adam started a chat independently. We had already talked about doing this, but uh, he started one on the Facebook group that was just about this, about what what are you looking forward to this year. So I just wanted to go through the comments on that. Um, he said. Uh, Last of Us 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, and God of War and Hot Shots. Uh, particular, he said, only because uh, they won't come out with another uh, PGA game that I can kill the closters in, which which we already discussed. He is the PGA closter dominator. <laughs> and then... Uh, my, my yeah, Red, Red Dead and Last of Us aren't going to be this year. Yeah, I don't think they will either. So that was my comment to him. As I said, if, if Last of Us and Red Dead 2 come out in 2017, I'll eat my hat. But uh, Hot Shots, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Zelda were were the ones that I had said on there. Um, 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 uh, let's see, let's see. I felt like there was more people that replied to this. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Dirk says he's on board for all those, but particularly Hot Shots. Dirk's a Hot Shots fanatic as well, so that's how we're finally going to get Dirk to play online with us, yeah. is when Hot Shots comes out. Um, and then finally, uh, Adam <laughs> says, uh, I'm, I'm waiting for Folklore of Affliction. I'm jonesing for a new cooperative game. So, so I'm assuming that's a board game, because Adam doesn't play video games, and I've never heard of it before. <laughs> what? What was that? Folklore of, affi of Affliction? Yes. Folklore, yeah, never the affliction, it. not of folklore. the affliction. Folklore, the affliction. If it's co-op board game, Adam, I'm down. I'll play with you. And then uh, my buddy Kevin said uh, Nintendo Switch. So next week we got the Switch press conference, so we'll have a lot more to talk about the Switch coming up. Nice. All right, so that's it. Oh, oh what, what was your number one? You, you not going to pick between those or Red Dead if it comes out? Is that your choice? Uh, I mean, is The Last of Us a choice? Like, no, uh, The Last of Us is not a choice. Uh, probably Spider-Man, then. I'm going to go Zelda. Yeah. Yep, the last Zelda game I played rocked my world so hard. That game yeah. looks uh, pretty sweet. Yeah, but the I've only seen one video. There's only one video out for Spider-Man so far, right? Yes, yes. And it looked amazing. I'm yep. ready for an awesome superhero game. We haven't even had one yet. Right, I'm with ever. you. Besides the fighting game, besides Marvel vs. Capcom and... and uh, uh, you don't count the Batman games? The Arkham ones? Okay, yes. They're I do decent. Count. They're good. Yep. They're really good. 